Okay, good morning. We are here the factoring of different the factoring the difference of two squares. So we're going to factor the difference of two squares. For example, we have here if we recall this this formula, we have here a a squared minus b squared. So this is the difference of two squares. So if you are going to factor it, na may kita natin parang ang difference of two squares kasi kapag pinapaktor natin, may kita natin ang factor niya, the sum and difference of two squares din. So, kapag nakakita tayo ng a squared minus b squared, ito yung sagot, di ba? Sagot sa the sum and difference of two squares. So, pwede natin ilagay na ang factor nila is a minus b, a minus b multiply to a plus b. So, we have here a minus b, then yun ito naman a plus b. So, kasi the sum and difference of two squares, the sum of difference of two binomials, so may kita natin, siya din yung the difference of factor from this sum and difference of two squares. So, may kita natin, a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b multiplied to a plus b, which is yung a natin, what is the value of a and what is the value of b. For example, we have here an example of 25, 25, 25m squared. So, gawin natin m raised to 4. 25m raised to 4 minus 81 and squared. So, may kita natin ang squared naman, pati 4. May kita natin, hindi naman squared yung 4, di ba? Kasi to the 4 power siya. Pero, ano pa rin siya? Pwede pa rin natin siya hatiin kasi raised to 4 siya. And which is, ang square root, or kung din natin, para malaman natin kung perfect square ba siya, i-square root lang natin yung m, m, m raised to 4. Which is, ang square root ng m raised to 4 is m squared, di ba? m squared. So, malaman natin. So, Pagkutin natin to. So, we have here 25m raised to 4 minus 81n squared. So, makikita natin a minus b, then a plus b. And, kung makikita natin, anong value ng a natin, that is 25m squared. So, yung a squared, kita natin a squared is equals to 25 and 25 25 m raised to 4. m raised to 4. Kasi ang inahanap natin value is a lamang. Since ang value nitong 25 m raised to 4 is a squared natin siya, diba? a squared natin siya. So, kailangan natin i-equate siya to a. So, isosolve natin siya for a. At para mawala si, so meron tayong a squared dito, para mawala si a squared, we're going to a squared both sides. Yan. This is for natin both sides siya. Then makakancel si square, makakancel si si square, at makakancel si si square, matitira na lang sa A. So malalaman na natin what is the value of A. Then dito naman, we have here 25, square root of 25M raised to 4. So magkaiba pa kasi, pwede natin silang pag-iwalayin. 25, square root of 25 times the square root of M raised to 4. Okay. So, what is the square root of 5? 25, that is 5, diba? The square root of, the square root of 25, that is 5. Kasi 5 times 5, that is 25. Now, how about the square root of m raised to 4? So, nga naman naman natin, sa iba may 4 tayo, yung square root, yung exponent na 4. So, ang gagawin kasi natin yan, diba meron tayong square root of m raised to 4, Pwede natin siyang gawin fraction para mas madali. Para natin, yung exponent, gagawin natin fraction. So, we have here m raised to 4. Yung 4, dito ba, meron tayong square root. So, kapag square root, square root, so, understood, to yung kanya sa radical natin, 2. Kasi square root, means makakita tayo ng cube root, cube root, it means 3. So, kapag gagawin natin siyang fraction, or we're going to rewrite it in the fraction, Yung exponent natin sa base, which is m, yung base natin, then exponent natin na 4, magiging numerator siya. Then meron tayong exponent na numerator na 4, then yung denominator natin, which is kung ano yung number na nasa radical sign natin. This is a square root, so kapag wala tayong nakita number, 
standard set is square root yun. And that is 2. Okay? So, isusulat natin si 2 dito. Then, simplify natin. M raised to 4 over 2. What is 4 over 2? That is 2, diba? So, meron tayo ang square root of M ang square root of M raised to 4. That is M squared. Okay? M squared siya. So, meron tayong 5M squared. So, makikita natin 5M squared yung ating letter A. Yung value na A natin, that is 5M squared. So, sulat natin si 5M squared dito. Then, si 5M squared din dito. Okay? So, meron tayong 5M squared, that is minus and positive, minus and plus. Kasi, parang sasundan na natin ito, eh. mag-ano na lang tayo dito. Ito na yung pinaka-formula natin kapag nakakita tayo ng difference of two squares. Parang mag-dis-dis, ano na lang tayo, tawag dito, na nagawin na lang natin na hindi namang distribution yun. Magsasubstitution na lang tayo, okay? Sasubstitution na natin what is the value of A and what is the value of B. Ngayon, meron na tayong A, then hanapin naman natin yung value ni B. Move na. Ah, wala. So, move natin ito. ito. So, meron tayong B squared dito. Ang value ng ating B squared is... So, disregard na natin yung ano kasi substitution na lang naman yung gagawin natin. Disregard na natin yung mga sign. Nakita kasi natin negative siya dito, diba? So, mag, hindi na natin negative ang ilalagay bakos yung B squared na lang tayo ilalagay natin. B squared, that is 81. 81 and squared. Okay, 81 and squared. So, para mawala yung bilang kasi hinahanap natin, parang wala si D, we're going to divide both side by its square root. Okay. So, kung raise naman ito yung 4, so pwede nyo naman i-raise ka sa 4, ganun. Raise to 4, ganun. Kaso, ah, 2 naman ito eh. So, i-raise to yung square root natin siya. Yung square root natin. Okay, cancel si radical sign, cancel si square root, si squared. So, B na lang matitira. And then, sa kabilang banda, we have square root of 81 multiplied to square root of n squared. n squared, di ba? So, square root of 81, that is 9. Kasi 9 times 9, that is 81, di ba? Then, square, cancel to square, cancel to n. So, bakit natin kinakancel? So, kapag, nagawa, kapag ginawa natin fraction yan, di ba? Magkakaroon tayo ng 2 yung sa numerator natin then denominator natin to then so n raised to 2 over 2 or or na lang siya sa diba magiging 1 yan n raised to 1 or n na lang so meron tayong b na n so mas madali kapag cancel out na lang natin kasi pares naman silang 2 or kung gusto nyo i-fraction for kung saan kayo nadadali ah, pwede nyo naman so din yan so 10 natin that is ay yung b natin sorry b natin is equal to 9 9n so ang factor Ito yung factor ng ating difference of 2 squared. So, meron tayong 5m squared minus 9n. Then, yung isa naman yung 5m squared plus 9n. So, ito yung factor natin sa una. Na meron tayong 25m raised to 4 minus 81n squared. Okay? So, sundan lang natin. Sundan lang natin yung ating formula. So, ito na yung pinaka-formula sa factoring sa difference of 2 squared. Okay? Ito na siya. Pinaka-permala na siya. Factoring siya of difference of 2 squared. Wala. Hindi ba? Okay. So, another thing. So, burangin ko na to. Another example. So, sundan pa rin natin yung ating pinaka-pattern. So, ito na yung magsisiling pattern sa atin. Kaya, Isulat nyo na yung formula na yan na a squared minus b squared is equal to the quantity of a minus b multiplied the quantity of a plus b. Another example, we have here 27b. b squared. O, oh, b, b squared na siya. Madali na siya. Minus 3bc. Tama ba? 3bc. 3bc. Squared. b squared. Paano yan? Meron tayo dito ng B, then meron din tayo dito ng B. So, ang nangyari sa atin dyan, parang magulo yan, diba? So, ang gagawin natin dyan, sorry class, hindi pala ito squared. 
gawin natin siyang 5. 5. So, magkaroon ako ng 5 po. Plus, gawin natin itong 5. Okay? So, we have 27B raised to 5 minus 3B C squared. So, hindi natin nakikita, wala tayong nakikita na perfect square itong B5. Diba? B raised to 5, sorry. B raised to 5, hindi naman siya perfect square. Diba? So, kapag in-square sign natin yan, is squared, hindi naman siya magiging 5 over 2 lang siya. Hindi siya. So, ang gagawin natin di yan, so, dito naman sa D, kasi may B din dito, hindi siya, hindi siya, sabi natin na, hindi natin siya mapapaktor agad. Ang una nyo muna gagawin, i-turn out nyo muna, mag-factor muna kayo, na may lalabas muna tayo, okay? So, hanap kayo ng least common multiple LCM nitong 27 and 3. So, common monomial factor nila. We're going to get the common monomial factor nila. So, tiba sa 27 and 3, pwede natin silang i-divide both side by 3. So, ilalabas natin si 3. Then, anong meron kay 27B raised to 5 pati kay 3B C squared? So, pareha silang may B, diba? Kasi itong 27 pati 3, doon muna tayo sa number. 27 pati 3, anong common factor nila? Meron silang common factor na 3. Pareha silang divisible by 3. Okay? So, ang, na, ang gagamitin na natin GCF, diba? So, ano natin GCF nila? So, meron tayo yung GCF na 3 sa kanila. 27 and 3, GCF nila is 3. Then, sa pangalawa naman, sa mga variables naman tayo, meron tayong B raised to 5, pati yung isa naman is B pati C squared. So, anong meron sa kanila? So, kapag nilabas natin yan, pareha silang may B. Kaso, isa lang. Kasi yung exponent to 1, so yung may pinakalawas na exponent B lang. So, ilalabas natin si 3B. Okay? So, may 3B natin ilalabas. So, kapag nilabas natin si 3B, baka naging kulay green. Kapag nilabas natin si 3B, so it means i-divide natin both sides. Ano nangyari? I-divide natin both sides. Sila kay 3B. Okay? Divide natin sila both sides by 3B. Kasi ang, com ang monomial factor nila, common monomial factor nila is 3B. So, 27 divided by, divided by 3. So, 27 divided by 3, 9 yun. Diba? Then, how about B raised to 5 over B? Kapag, kapag mag-divide tayo ng ganito, exponent, pinagsusotrack na natin exponent. Since 5 ito, then minus 1, So, 5 minus 1, copy natin si base sa D. Same base naman ka sila. Then, sa exponent, law of exponent, kapag, nag, kapag nag-divide tayo, so, ipag-subtract na lang natin yung exponent. 5 minus 1, that is 4. So, meron tayong 9, 9, 9, 9 B raised to 4. Then, dito naman, 3, 3 divided by 3, that is, 3 divided by 3, so, copy natin yung negative. Minus. So, 3 divided by 3, that is 1. So, 1. Hindi natin sisula. So, B pati B, cancel natin si B, cancel natin si B, cancel natin si 3, cancel natin si 3. Masisira na na ay si C squared. Okay. So, meron na tayong, so, yung ating, tawag dito. Dapat pala. Nag-just ko ng isa. So, meron tayo dito ang 27. B raised to 5 minus 3B C squared. Okay? So, meron na tayong 3B. Sinilabas natin yung factor, yung common pa muna nyo factor nila. Kasi hindi natin siya makakuha yung 2 square nila. Kung hindi natin siya gagawin ng common muna nyo factor. Hindi natin ipapaktor out sa true common muna nyo factor. Then, nakita natin meron na tayong 9B raised to 4 minus C squared. Dahil 9B raised to 4 minus C squared, yun yung ating difference of 2 squared. Kasi nakita natin a squared minus b squared na siya, di ba? a squared minus b squared na siya. So, ang mangyayari sa atin dito, ito yung a natin. This is our a. And this is our b. Diba? a squared pala to. Then, this is our b squared. Tama? So, compute natin magiging, isusulat pa rin natin si 3B. Kaso nasa labas ng siya. 
Then makikita natin, ipapaktor out na natin yung dalawang bar. Isang minus, then isang plus. So, pwede na mamakaw na si plus, pwede na mamakaw si minus. So, kahit naman magkabalik sa sila, ganyan pa rin naman ang result niya. Okay? Meron tayong a squared is equal to 9b squared. Okay, b raised to 4. Diba? 9b raised to 4. So, a, value of a lang yung hinahanap natin. Since si value of a lang yung hinahanap natin, we're going to squared both sides. So, cancel si squared sign, cancel si squared. Si a na lang ang matitira. Then dito, what is the square root of 9? Magkakaroon tayo ng square root of 9 times the square root of b squared, b raised to 4. Then, ang a natin is equal to square root of 9, that is 3. Then, square root of b, b raised to 4. Diba? Square root of b raised to 4. Kapag ginawa natin yung fraction, magkakaroon tayo ng 4 over 2. 4 over 2 na fraction. Or, ang a natin is equal to 3 times 3b squared. Diba? 3b squared. Kasi 4 over 2, that is 2. So, 3b squared. So, meron tayo yung kay a na 3b squared. Parehas niya, kabilat kanan, kaliwat kanan. So, yung b squared naman yung ating hanapin. Ang value ng b squared natin is equal to c squared. Yan. So, we're going to divide, dahil kailangan mahanap natin si value ng b. So, we're going to c squared both sides. Get the square root of both sides. So, b is equal to c. Kasi cancel c squared, cancel c square root side. So, c naman dito. Okay? So, ang factor natin is 3b multiplied to 3b squared minus c times 3b squared plus c. Okay? So, ganun. Nag, ganyan nagpapaktor ng difference of 2 squared of 2 squared. Okay? Difference naman ito pag saan difference minus of 2 squared. Kaya a squared minus b squared. So, yun yung magiging na natin. Basta, kulahin nyo lang tong pattern na to. Then, dito lang kayo mag-realize. Sundan nyo lang to, masasagutan natin. Okay?